a couple of people. Thank you for watching my channel, visiting, subscribing, and uh, if you're a new uh, viewer, uh, I would appreciate it if you click that subscribe button and also the little bell to let you know when I've uploaded a new video. And this morning or today, I'm going to be kitting up this Diamond Arts painting. I don't know if I'm going to be doing two. I might just do this one and then they do the other one later. Um, but I'm going to be doing the Leisure Arts one that I got from Hobby Lobby of the Peacock. And I've already printed off a copy uh, of the uh, color chart over here that I'm going to be putting in my container here. And my drills and everything. So... What I've done is um, I just put this out of my printer scanner copier and I made a copy of it. And I was going to use my little Xyron uh, sticker maker, but I'm out of refill. So I'm going to have to use my bigger one. Ha ha. I'll use my big belly. My big five inch one. I think it's five inches. Yeah. Something like that. But so I'm going to be using this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut this down. And uh, I'm going to get my thing all set up so I can start diamond painting. And I'm just going to, I'm not going to cut down DMC codes <clears throat> or colors or numbers or whatever. So, I'm just going to pull this thing. I, and I haven't used this thing in, in yarn, so I hope this is still sticky. And there we have it. So now it's all sticky up. Okay, so. Um, what are we going to do with these? Okay, so we're just going to open these babies up. I don't hope I like that lighting. I hope this can see this because it's in the morning and it's uh you know on my light like below the ten and oh I fall over and um I don't really want to turn my light on. So I'm gonna try to see how I hope this turns out, guys. I'm just hoping you can see this because um I can't really see on my camera um. Uh, my viewing camera screen that I'm looking at if it's going to be good lighting for you guys or not so I'm hoping it is so I apologize if it's not and when I watch the video and I play it back then I will know better but I probably should just went ahead and did a test on that so we're going to get started and um I understand there's some issues with static uh with these um drills so I'm I didn't bring a dry sheet out here with me I forgot to grab one and out of my back door I first come out of the house and I don't feel like going back in to get it because um it's not that far from my craft shed to my house but I just don't feel like walking back out there okay so I guess we're gonna start with the first number and so let's see. I want to. Do I want to let's go ahead and cut this down. Cut this part off. And I'm trying to think. Do I want to cut these or use my exacto? I'm sorry, guys. I'm thirsty. I'm always thirsty. The husband asked me, are you hungry? Because he's hungry. Like, why you gotta ask me hungry? Because you're hungry. Doesn't mean just because you're hungry, I'm hungry. I'm mostly something all about something to drink. But now he's getting to the point where he's want, he just wants something to drink. He's just thirsty. So, yeah. You know what? Let me move this out of the way. And I'm hoping I'm not cutting through because I don't want to cut... And I just did, so I need to take out my one of my working mats and cut on this because I don't want to 
cut up my surface here. So I'm just going to cut these. Let's see how these do. Let's see how these work. So, I'm going to start with the first color. I am really anxious to get started on this because I, again, I've been still been watching a lot of videos. Uh, let me put these in here first. Yeah, let's pull it off first. Let me put it on there. And I don't think it cut clean all the way through. Oh, come on. I might just have to cut them with scissors because this looks like it's too much work. I don't feel like changing my blade and my knife. I don't feel like going through changes this morning. We got new furniture. Well, we got our couch yesterday. We um went and bought. We went to a furniture. Store. Well, I went to a furniture store, but we um we went and found some furniture that we liked. And um so we. We well, actually got that big loss, guys. We're cheap. Um, it's nice furniture. I like it. Um, so we went to the one that was closest to us, and it was like when we went there, um, the lady was telling us that the front that we liked, or uh, that we wanted to get, was out, and that they didn't have any. Of course, they could so they didn't have any stock. And I don't want to put on this side. No, I don't want to be pulling off a lot of stickers. Look at that right here on the bottom. Yeah. So, um, I don't like this. So, uh, she said that uh, it was, uh, I don't know what exactly she said because Brian, my husband, he keeps changing the number of times he's say he says it and he said that um I wasn't around I was browsing the store um for storage for my craft shit out here and so anyway she said well first time he said it he said well she said that it's like a list of people in front of like nine people in front of us so um you know and it, they get it takes six eight weeks to get it every time they get it in you know they don't know if they get it in or not so um it's we gonna wait list and you're gonna tell them what to, when are we gonna get it because it's nine people ahead of us so then he was talking to his mom and his dad, and then he said when he told them the same thing, he first but well, he said ten people, no twenty people, and then twenty yeah he said twenty people that time. Like I thought you said nine, you know I just said him. I'm just thinking to my head I to myself like I thought you said nine. So then he was talking to him again, and he said and he you know he I, I repeat myself instead of see I don't know why we do that, but um so yeah he um. He was saying it again to his mom or his dad, and then he said 40 people. Like, dude, what are you talking about 40 people? Like, first you said nine, then there was 20, now it's 40 people. Um, I, granted, the, we don't want to wait that long for furniture, but it ain't that dang many people. Um, why are you exaggerating? I mean, you know. So, yeah, um, so anyway, um, we like the furniture, and... We, they didn't have it in stock, you know, they came for sure, sell us the floor model because, you know, people are sitting on it, yada, 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 this way, whatever, for whatever reason. And, you know, I'm cool with that because I, I don't want furniture that everybody didn't have their tail on, um, everybody in the North Pole didn't set on. So, um, so we go to another, um, Big lots, and it's in Jasper, which is in the opposite direction from our house. So we're turning around, go back the other way, and we get there, and they have the same furniture, and they don't have it in stock either. But they had a truck coming in the next day, which was yesterday. So that means we went on a Tuesday, and so the guy said um, that. They supposed to be getting the truck in the next day, 
and that they could be shorted out of the truck because they may or may not come on it may not come on the truck and then it may not be both pieces he said so he was going to put it on land where you know just gonna hold it make sure we can, we can first dibs on it. he said no you don't have to do that he said i'll hold it for you um just call me in the morning because i will know the truck and it, then you call me and then if it's here then you can come and pick it up yada yada because he's gonna come my husband and say you do we definitely want it we definitely want it we definitely want it okay he said okay so but the thing about this furniture is is that in the first uh big lock store we went to they did not or the lady she did not tell us that the console i mean that there's a console on the on the couch oh crap on the couch um we didn't find this out until we got to the other uh i'm making a mess here until we got to the other big lots in jasper so When we get there and then on the in the uh, on their display they had the middle of the couch um like i had a big old console you had to flip up the little cushion on the top and then you pull it out and it flips down and it had more co it had a big old area about this side you know the, the middle part section of the couch and that whole oh it's spill again so it had that big old section of cup holders and then it had um a little thingy there like i don't know um some kind of thing there but anyway it had usb ports and um plugs there but when you know you flip it open it's usb plugs and ports there i said oh cool i like that and then brian said that's not the same couch like yes it is i said because i did not because i i lifted up the little flap you know that's on the top part of the couch and i pushed it back up i see see it's the exact same couch we said at the other store i said that lady didn't tell us that you know, she did not show us all the features of it anyway, guys. I guess she didn't bother because um, they didn't have any stuff. So, like, so why was that, you know, why show us that? But still, um, I guess, you know, because we don't want to be on that waiting list. But it would be nice if she told us. But, again, I mean, we'd find out and went to the other uh, big lots. And they, um, that was, like, I like that feature. And my damn Brian said, well, I don't know if I want to like that. I said, I mean, that's cool and everything. He said, but um, that's going to take up space when I'm going to lay down. I said, okay, well, I, I guess we won't be both sitting on the couch when you want to lay on the sofa. Um, but the thing about it is, I don't like laying on furniture. That's what the bed is for. So he tells me, he said, well, I just went so well yesterday. <laughs> after we went back and got the furniture, got the, the, um, the love seat only because only the, um, Love seat come in and the couch didn't so the guy said that um well when it come in i'll call you and let you know so we went ahead and paid for it brian said you want to go ahead and pay? yeah go ahead and pay for it now you know so when it come in we got first dibs we got to worry about him trying to hold it for us and then we, and we probably can't get back down here you know so yeah go ahead and i'll uh, pay for it and then um they have no choice but to hold us because we paid for it so yeah so anyway um we was coming home after we had picked up the the uh the love seat and then he was saying he said that's what he was saying like he said well, i don't like what they will uh, um the part i don't like about it he said i love the furniture i said but i don't like that part where um if i want to lay down um i can't let that part down i said well and then he said he said i just bought you some new furniture i said me new furniture i said us and but then when he said then but i had to think back because again when he said something about the laying down part and then he said well i just bought you new furniture and i said us that's a wait a minute okay i'll take that us i said because that means i can do i i i, I can say who can and cannot do something on it so like again i don't like laying on the couch unless i'm like sick and lazy and when I, and I just still got the bed for that um i like to lay up but i don't really like you know people laying on the couch um so yeah when he said that i said well since you said on my couch you can't lay on it <laughs> he took it back he said i know it's our couch like i thought that's what i thought so anyway that was funny um so i keep doing that so i, I can't multitask today so um me get the couch it comes in a box i went back to the car because my 26 year old statistic son was acting crazy in the store and sometimes i have to manhandle him because he wants to pinch bite and scratch 
um, when he can't have his way, um, or he's just ready to go, he has no patience. So I said, well, um, he picked up this little bowl, bowl of noodles, um, that he wanted. I said, I'm gonna go ahead and get it. And I, I bring my wallet. I said, let me have your wallet because he didn't. I didn't bring my own in. Let me go ahead and get this for him so we can go. I didn't feel like fussing with him. I was, it was hot. Um, my head hurt, and you know, so I said, go ahead and let, um, give me the keys and, uh, you know, you know, and he gave me a couple of dollars as well because he had to pay for the couch. Um, and so I went on back out to the car and wait for him to come out with the, um, with the love seat. So I didn't get out the car when, he, when the guy brought it out, you know, to put on the trailer that we had hooked up in my truck. And so I was telling him when we got home, because we give my old furniture to my daughter. She asked for it. And I was telling, I said, you know what? I said, we will not, it's a sister coming in a box like that. I don't want to open it until we get the couch. He said, even though he said it could be up to a week to six, you know, up to, he said six to eight weeks, but then he said it could come in next week. So I don't know what that six to eight weeks mean. But he said it could come in next week, you know. So even though he said six, and six, six to eight weeks, we can get it. Which I hope not. He said it could come in sooner. He said it could come in next week. Which is cool. I hope so. So when he said that, I said, well, hopefully, it'll, 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 you know, we will, um, it'll come in next week or, you know, a short time, less than six to eight weeks. And so we'll just go ahead and, uh, leave the sofa, the, leave the love seat in the, um, in the box and we'll, you know, set up in the house somewhere because we have a very big living room. And I said, we'll just uh, leave it in the living room until we get the couch. we just leave it in the box. But he did not say to me how big this freaking box was. I didn't realize that until we got home. I got out of the car and I seen how big that box was. I said, you don't tell me how that big was. I said, yeah, we are not going to be able to get this in the house by ourselves. Um, we're going to have to open up the box and take it out by pieces because it comes in pieces. I love that because our old couch... Uh, furniture, uh, the back part of it comes off where it's easier to move, uh, get into in and out of doors and stuff. So, um, I said, yeah, we're going to have to go ahead and, uh, take this out of the box because I'm not going to break my back, um, trying to get this in the house, but I hurt myself anyway. I know better cause I'm always lifting stuff. I'm always moving stuff. Um, so I know to lift with my legs and not my back, but yesterday, I don't know what I did, but I lifted that couch at one point the wrong way. And ah, I, I think I pulled something. So I'm hurt this morning. Um, even though I'm standing up, I, I'm fine. But sometimes if I, if I, if I sit or lay the wrong way, that's not happening. Make sure I got the right color. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we did not leave that in the box because I didn't realize how big that box was. So I thought I said the kids will have a field day with this. Um, so I said I keep the what? So we, we took the um, we got everything switched out, got the couch in, got the one out, um, and we um, hold on, guys. And then we, uh, I told Ryan, I said, we're going to keep, I'm holding to the box for a minute. I said, the kids will have a field day with this. Um, so I left the, um, we got the box on the back of the small pickup truck and they are going to freak out when they see that box. We got, you know, I don't know if I mentioned, but I got, we got to keep our six grandkids uh, just about every weekend, but this weekend we're going to have the three boys and their other grandmother's going to have the girls. Um, I don't know why the boys don't like to stay with her, <laughs> but she always for the kids. Um, I don't know if she really asked for or not, but she, she sometimes, some weeks she'll keep the girls and we'll keep the boys. And the boys are so much easier to take, you know, they play the game. They give me no problem. I have, yeah, I forgot one here. I have no, well, hardly any problems out of the boys. Oh, good Lord, I'm making a mess. So it's like, um, the baby, the one-year-old, he is actually, what's the day, the 9th, the 10th. He was actually, he's actually a month, 13 months old now. 
and he is he is the silliest little kid that baby he's he's going he's doing stuff too fast he was he should not be doing um like you need to cut it out so but anyway um so we got them and because he's a baby i have patience with him um he's a baby i have no problem with babies um but the older ones oh my god sometimes i just want to choke them I love my grandkids but they need a good choking sometimes but anyway so we're going to have this those three this weekend just the boys and um the boys are going to have a field day with that box um, I thought about leaving it in the house, but again, I didn't realize how big that box was, so they got to put that outside. And then, you know, once they, they didn't really fairly mutilated it or it getting rained on or the weather get torn or something like that, then I'm kind of throw it away. But yeah, I, I don't know why I'm going to save that box for the kids. I mean, cause, I guess because it's huge. And they used to like playing with stuff like that. <sighs> but anyways, so that was our day yesterday. Um, we enjoyed the couch. Uh, well, the love seat anyway, and I love it because when it was in the store, it looked like it was micro microfiber because that's the kind of stuff, uh, furniture we have now microfiber. And so, I really prefer, um, uh, we wanted to get leather, but the furniture that we liked, they, um, it was it looked like in the store the display that was microfiber, I guess, because it's been set on and tested and all this other stuff. They look like microfiber, and the guy didn't um, correct me when I said that it was microfiber. Um, but when we get it home and get it out of the box, it's leather. Like, cool, this is a plus because we like the furniture and it's leather. I mean, because we got microfiber, uh, I got a cleaner and I tried to clean it. That was a pain in the behind. I didn't feel like doing it. And the kids, I mean, because I was doing it like clean a section at a time. So I would clean one section and then I would t it would take me too long to get around to clean the next section. That just didn't finish it. And I just didn't want to do it. I mean, it didn't take long to dry. It just took, it took, it, it, let's put it away. It took longer to clean the darn thing than it was for it to dry. Uh, with my little Bissell cleaner thingy. Um, so yeah, I never got it cleaned. And plus my son, he is not the cleanest person. He is nasty. He's autistic and totally nonverbal. And he makes messes. So it was just, I, I told my husband, I said, I would rather prefer, I, I like the microfiber, but I prefer leather. So with them, when we was looking, like I said, before we figured out that it was actually leather when we got it home and got it out of the box, that it's actually leather. Um, he said, we get the leather if you want to. I said, no, we'll get this because I, you know, it's like when we bought our new house, you know how you shopping for a house and you look at a house at the house at the house, you get tired of looking like, okay, just find something already. So that's what I told him when we went to go look for the front. I think we probably went to like two places before we went to this other big lots that was in Jasper and so when we've come across that I said okay he said you want to look somewhere no I we like this I'm not I, look I don't want to be running around all over town trying to find new furniture and it's pretty much the same everywhere where a lot of um, the furniture places or whatever is taking they don't, even, don't have it with one in stock or it's gonna take six to eight weeks that's all what they all said six to eight weeks for them to get it in you know to get you know another truck or you know for to come in so when the guy told us that it was coming in the next day and it might not be both pieces, we said, we'll get it, you know, we want the first dibs. And, oh, so I said, I don't want to look again. This is good. I'm, I'm good with this. This is good. So we, um, So again, when we got home and got it out of the box, it's actually leather. And like I said, probably I said I guess it just looked like it's microfiber because, again, you know everybody and their mama just sat on on it because it's display and it kind of like wore. I mean, it still looks nice, but we just thought it was microfiber. Um, but like I said, it was a pleasant surprise. Another pleasant surprise, other you know besides the fact that we didn't know about the middle console on the couch. Um. That that was a nice surprise that it is actually leather. So got new furniture. Well, got a new love seat anyway. And 
oh and it got usb ports in the console on the little seat and it also has like a little console part a little storage part on the armrest and it's got four cup holders um i'm not gonna allow the kids to sit on it um that much um, I guess it's okay because I was gonna say they're not sitting on this front. They're gonna have to sit on the floor, the kitchen table, or something like that, or whatever. I don't know. I said, but they're not sitting on my front. But then again, now they find out that it's actually leather. Um, they're not gonna be too restricted, but they will be limited. They will be limited, and so will my son. Um, and he and they and the love seat also comes with. Uh, they both ends reclined, and both ends rock just like my our, our previous furniture. Well, the we still have it because I haven't taken the love seat to my daughter yet. I told her we'll get we we'll you get the love seat now, but then you'll get the couch when we get our new couch. Um, but anyway, um, ah crap. So we um got a pleasant surprise with that. Let me see. What's the next one? Here we go. So yeah, um, just waiting on the new furniture to come. Uh, the couch. D D D. Make sure I'm matching this up. But yeah, the kids are still gonna be limited on my new furniture because they act like they're in romper room. I like if y'all sit your behinds down. I would rather let the dogs be have the dogs in the house than y'all. Put y'all outside. Cause dogs like to be outside in the day in the daytime so i thought they'd be in the house um but they be in the kennel uh and they stay in there so they are they are sometimes they're better than the kids i mean, want to choke the kids but my dogs are they goofy um they are hilarious my dogs so yeah we got new furniture um, we just, it was funny too, also, because we paid off the house. We paid off our house last week and we've only been living here for about over, over four years. I forgot. We moved here in 2016, I believe. Yeah. And we paid off our house and then we bought furniture. Oh, we also paid off our car. Uh, we paid it, well, he paid it off um, like a, a five months in advance because he was making extra payments on it, you know, adding extra to the payment. So we paid off our car, my car, it was already paid off because my daughter, she, I let her borrow my car and she totaled it. So I got more for my last truck than I got. Well, I want some more. I, well, okay, this is what it was. I only paid so much for my truck. Uh, my last one, I had a, um, 2005 Chevy Trailblazer. And, wait a minute. Yeah. And I had it for seven years. So it was good. It, you know, I got my money's worth out of it. And so I let my daughter borrow it because hers was out of commission. She needed to get to work. So she wrecks it, flips it. And she, only thing I'm mad about is that she wasn't wearing a seatbelt. And but she's fine. Lucky she's only had a, she only bruised her hip and she had a cut on her wrist. That was it. She was lucky. She was seriously lucky. Um, so when they totaled out my car, they gave me over half. Uh, my insurance gave me over half of what I paid for it. I'm like, cool. I didn't think I'm gonna get that much, but I got a, a pretty good penny for my, you know, my insurance paid off my car. Well, I mean, it was already paid off, but you know, what I got back for my car because they totaled it out. Um, so with that, I bought me a new one and I paid cash for it. Um, and I had it and I wanted something third row seats because I got six grandkids and, um, my trailblazer only had third, you know, didn't have third row seats. And then we had the ultimate. So anytime we wanted to go get the kids, um, get them all, get all six of them. We had to take both cars because all of us couldn't fit in one vehicle. So I told Brian, I said, when I get a new car, I want some third row seats. We had a Pathfinder before. I said, I want a Pathfinder. I want a Pathfinder. I've always wanted another Pathfinder. So, um, I got a Pathfinder. <laughs> it's a 2008. And it's, 
and it has thermal seats. And we ha and it's almost like the same path they had the last time. Um, so we um, why do I do that? Oh, I see now. So I found my pathfinder. We got thermal seats, and I paid cash for that. So it's like when we got finished um, getting the couch in the house yesterday and I also paid off my craft shed, my building out here. Um, I got it um, over three years ago and um, I renovated it and I got my own little happy place out here and I paid it off early this year. And so, we bought new furniture yesterday, and I told Brian, I said, you know what, hon? I said, all our shit is paid for. It's all ours. We got two acres of land. Our house is paid for. Our vehicles are paid for. We got a jet ski that's paid for. Everything is paid for. I said, everything is ours. I said, the only thing is not ours is the tank. We have a, we have, um, a propane tank. We have natural gas out here for cooking, which is a good thing, because we ever have power outage. I really... You know, we were in our last house. We didn't have gas. Um, we had, you know, electric. So we moved out here. It the house came with um, a gas stove, and so we have to have a propane tank. I said, only thing that, that we don't own is the propane tank. <laughs> it's on our property. I said we need to purchase that too. Um, but yeah, because we rent it. I mean, it's only like forty something dollars a year. But yeah, I said, but every it's, uh, everything is ours. So it's kind of cool. It's nice. Um. So now, um, we're going to start doing some, uh, um, upgrades to our house. Now that it's paid off, we got the money to do that. You know, put money elsewhere instead of into the mortgage. So, it's just nice that he, uh, we got everything paid off. And then he going to say last night, he said, uh, well, now if I die, you have the house all paid for like uh um sir um you know used to me dead he said but you take the house and, damn the house i said you're still no used to me dead you know um yeah he was joking but yeah it is still a nice feeling there was some dumps happening him that i have to worry about anything everything's paid for and vice versa for that matter So, how is everybody doing today? And is anybody else um, diamond painting? Like I said, I've always wanted to do this. And because my friend, my well, we became friends through a job where we used to be uh, co workers. And um, she did one a couple years ago, a year or so ago, or whatever. And she was talking about how she, because she still worked at the place that we worked at. Um, I had to quit because. Um, my headaches got ridiculous, so I had to finally quit work. I didn't want to, but I had to finally quit work and go on disability. And now I, I said I would really like to go back to work, but it's not even possible because my son, he, um, he, he needs a caregiver. I don't trust anybody because he, again, he's totally nonverbal. So if something happens to him, he can't tell me. So I, I never trusted anybody. I didn't trust his teacher when he was going to school with him because again he's he can't talk but anyway uh i had to quit work and now i'm always at home and so i have time to craft and diamond paint and color and all that good stuff and it keeps me sane but even though it's just three of us well five of us caught my dogs um i'm I, and I just realized, and I told my husband, I, I, I think it was a while back or something. I said, you know what? I'm the only female in the house. Um, because it's him, my son, and uh, our dogs, Boomer and Rocky. And like, I, 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 I feel kind of lonely, you know? <laughs> because I, I'm the only female in the house. Okay, well, number 15. But yeah. I don't particularly trust anybody with him, so... 
I could go back to work if I wanted to. Love to, but I can't. Plus, we live right here in a rural area. It's too far to be um, driving anywhere. Talk about taking him to somebody. Um, even if I did trust anybody. And I would make, I, like, when I was working, I have to make sure that I get a job where it's going to work with my husband's schedule. Because, again, we're going to need a, caretaker, a caregiver for him. And one of us or nobody, well, just one of us, or the other one's going to, you know, be care for him. Again, we don't live near family. His mom and dad live like 45 minutes away. My daughter, she lives in the further away. She got six kids on, so um, she can't do it. She works from home, and she's still having issues. You know, well, she's got four of her kids in school now. The the fourth, the fourth, four-year-old just started school this year, and she's loving it. Um, 16. So we really don't have a reliable babysitter with anybody that we trust to keep him, to watch him anyway. And plus, another thing, he doesn't like to be anywhere else other than home. I mean, he likes to go out sometimes. We try to get him out every once in a while because when I'm here with him, um, if we don't leave the house, and I don't really like leaving my house, um, I don't I don't like getting out because people are out there. And it's not because of COVID. It's just people. I told my mom a, a couple of years ago, I said, I realized I am not a people person. Um, I can tolerate some, you know, people for, for so long, but then... When I start, when I get around people that, you know, some, you know, people that say stupid stuff, I can't, ugh, like, okay, I got to distance myself, again, not because of COVID, because of the stupid stuff that comes out of people's mouths. I mean, I, I, I heard some stupid stuff, and it's like, really, y'all? So, yeah, I, I, I'm not, I don't like stupid, stupidity, I mean, I think I I know I had I um put up a meme about um uh the stupid pill. Not I've I've heard the stupid pill. Y'all heard the stupid pill? Yeah, I've heard the stupid pill. And I said something to the effect of I said, you know, I've heard the stupid pill um existing. So I wonder if there's a um there's a pill to cure stupid. Is there? I've heard of that stupid pill, but is there a cure for stupid? Yeah. <sighs> I hate to say it, but I'm, and it's probably mean, but I, there are still real in this world, and I happen to run in a lot of them. So, yeah. So, I don't leave my house that much. I don't like leaving my house. Plus, I, I'm a road rage driver, and um, I don't I don't have time for Sunday drivers. I don't have the time or the patience for Sunday drivers. So, yeah, I like to stay at home. Um, but anyways... So, I don't, um, get out much, and I don't trust any, you know, a lot of people, my son, so, we don't go out very much. I get him out of the house, even probably, like, every, at least once a week, just so we won't kill each other. Yeah. And... Depending on where we are sometimes. Like, we're out and about and shopping or something like that. Then he don't mind being out. But he's uh, even though he's autistic, he's high on, the sp high on the spectrum level. He is a typical male. He wants to get what he want to get, and he's ready to go. He, um, he his patience, he has none. I mean, there's no patience with him. He has no patience. So, and sometimes, like I said, we get out in public, and he wants to have one of his moods. Um, for whatever reason, even though he had, I give him medication faithfully every morning and I make sure he gets it, you know, especially if we're going out for the day. Um, and sometimes he just wants to act crazy in public. And then, like I said, sometimes I have to manhandle him and then I get looks like, y'all don't know what I did with, you know, so... And then there are some, a very few people. Well, actually, there's a lot of people that I've come across that understand because I've, I've had too many people tell me. And I mean too many by... It's, I'll get to that in a minute. But I have I have to had too many people tell me that they've had... That they have somebody in their family or a loved one or a friend that's autistic too. 
And so they get it. They understand. They know. But then other busybodies, um, when I have to get really physical with my son in public, then they want to threaten me with calling the cops on me. Okay, go ahead. You're just going to make it worse for him. Well, not really. I mean, they've been like a couple of years apart or, or more, but, or, you know, but it's happened on two occasions where he gets in one of his moves out in public and we have to um, get aggressive with him. And then somebody that don't know wants to call, want to get out, outside people, want to put their two cents in pretty much and call outside people like the cops and say that we're doing this, that, and the other. We're abusing him, yada, yada, yada. And they don't realize, okay, this he's not a kid, okay? He's 20-something years old. And he likes to, well, I wouldn't say like, but he, when he gets um, upset, he will um, he uh, pretty much attack. If he gets mad, don't, can't get his way, or his patience is run out, or whatever reason he's in a bad mood, he will attack. He will come at you with his claws like this. He ain't, he, he know that to come at me like that because I'll, I'll punch him in his chest real fast. Dude, back up. But anyway, um, we have to be aggressive with him in public and people don't know this. They just see what they see, but they don't know the situation. And nine times out of ten, most of the time, it's because we're, we're protecting others around him. Because he will do that. He will, he will pinch, scratch anybody he can, anybody he's next to. So if we don't keep him in check and watch him, and make sure that he doesn't do, you know, harm somebody else, then that's a potential problem for all of us, including him. But then again, they don't realize that when they call the police or someone that they, they're just making it hard on him. They're making it hard on my son because again, he has no patience. So then they come out and they want to ask questions. They want to investigate and do this and yada, yada, yada. And he's ready to go. He don't want to sit in a hard car. He don't want to sit down. Well, he don't mind sitting in a hard car, but when he's ready to go, he's ready to go. So then he wants to attack me and I had to tell him until so one time it happened and one of the officer, he wanted to, um, get, he wanted, to, uh, no, no, I got him. Don't touch him because I know that if he scratches, pinches or bites that man, then he's going to, he, they want to go to They're going to want to arrest him. I was like, no, we, we, I got it. Back up. I got him. Don't touch him. I'm not in the, I'm not, I'm not in the mood for that kind of trouble with him. So, and that's happened. And so the one time, the first time it happened when we were standing up there and because this little rock mouth little girl, well, she was a lady actually, but she had rock teeth, so I still call her rock mouth. Um, she accused my, uh, Brian of doing, of hitting Tillis or something like that. But he was in the back seat and he bites on the car door. He messed up the door. We got to get that fixed. And she, he was, he got out of the car cause I was in hobby, no Michaels. And he got out of the car and he was pushing him over to get in the middle, the front, in the middle of the seat. So he wouldn't be close to the door. And she claimed that he was hitting him, that he hit him. And so she said, I got it on video. I got it on video. I said, well, let me see the video. She said, I'll call the cops. And Brian said, let's go. And I said, no, anybody go call. I'm not scared of the cops. Don't call. Uh, no, no, we're going to wait. She called the cops. Let's wait for them. I'm, they, 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 she said, when we get our last place, you got to get my last place to help her because we ain't going nowhere. I ain't running from the cops. You going to call? We'll wait for them. I, you don't scare me. The cops don't scare me. You don't scare me. Call the cops. You don't, uh, don't scare me with the cops. That's the last thing you should do is scare me with the cops. You're going to call the cops on me. I will wait for the damn cops. You know, and to be told, um, I will call the cops, you know, myself, and let them know something about to go down. I'm, I'm going to be involved. So I ain't scared of the cops. I'm going to let them know right up front. So you ain't got to worry about nobody's calling. I'll call myself. Um, so, yeah. And that's all done. So, um, she said, I said, well, let me see this video before the cops got there. She was saying that she wouldn't let me see the video. She wouldn't let me see the video or whatever that she so-called got of Brian hitting my son. And so she got the cops got there and asked him, you know, the rigmarole when you get you have an encounter with the police. 
And so he she showed her she showed him the video and uh, he didn't say nothing about the video and then he was sitting there talking to me and I was telling him you know the condition of my son and all this other stuff and then he said up there I'm trying to fight him up because he's ready to go he's attacking me and then he said um he wanted to, he asked me are you okay he was asking me if I was okay because my he saw my son attacking me scratching me I mean he literally scratched me when he draws blood. And I said, no, I'm fine. You know, this, he just ready to go because this woman right here wanted to call y'all for no reason because she, you know, wanted to be a busybody and, you know, want to get y'all involved for no reason. So he's mad because he's ready to go. So, I mean, at that point, it was like, I thought he wanted to arrest my son, you know, because he was attacking me. And so the next time, that, so that's what I'll tell people now when they call themselves threatening me and when I'm, chastising my son in public uh, go ahead and call him but you're just gonna make it worse for him uh, it always happens like that it happened again it happened another time you know same situation and we was uh he was sitting in the car and we was ready to go and he was acting having an uh, uh, issue or whatever you want to call it an episode in the car and one of the officers asked me he said What's wrong with him? I said he's ready to go. He said well, he can't go. I said I know that you asked what's wrong with him. I just told you, and I said just like that with a tone because I was, you know, I hate when people get in my business like when they when they, they don't know. So I was mad, and then another cop came up and he asked me. I was telling. He said what happens? I was telling him, and I said it with a tone. And I said he said what are you yelling at me? Because I'm pissed, dude. Because you was calling for no reason. So yeah. Um. So. I, I try to get him out to keep both of us sane and we don't kill each other here, but I got to pick the right day because if I go out the wrong day with him, he's going to act up in public and then that's going to happen and then, you know, it's just a whole... It's not fun. Um, so we're cool in here at the house. Um, he's good. Um, as long as he's in his room and he's around his TV, his stuff, his books, his movies, he's good. But sometimes he does like to get out. He just doesn't like to be at other people's house. That's what it is. <laughs> like we'll be at my mother-in-law house or we at my daughter's house and like that. He 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 he, he paces the, the house the whole time. Like he's ready to go. Yeah. Like I want to be out, but I don't want to be here. So that's what that is. Um. So yeah, so I got this all kitted up and I think I want to make a copy of this peacock. Um, so that I could put this also on the box and I should have did that before and uh ouch hold up just a minute guys and uh we'll be done with this one and then I'm going to start on this one I'm just making a picture of the peacock. Oh, good lord. one tiny little picture and I don't mind using ink guys because I had um I was on uh found some ink refill uh kit for my ink cartridge because I don't really do a lot of printing and that's why because at one point I had to I was I, if I, I like to print but I didn't do it a lot because I did not want to um be buying refill I mean buying ink cartridges so I was browsing through Amazon and and it dawned on me. I mean well at one point I did it did cross my mind, but then there's like a split second type of thing. And then I uh was browsing on Amazon and I seen some uh uh inks to refill my ink cartridges. Like cool, I'll get it. So I got it um uh, probably about a month ago. And um, now I can print. I just refilled some my ink cartridges. My ink cartridges yesterday. Well, both of them, my black and my color. I'm going to cut the name out too. So I 
don't mind printing because now I got bottles of ink to refill my cartridges. Not a problem. So that's what I want to talk to you guys also. Um I um um uh, I watched a video yesterday or the night before well mm, yeah I guess it was yesterday because it was like twelve o'clock in the morning and I literally came out here to my shit and I um downloaded the uh the um software that somebody um the video I can't remember what her name was but but um I downloaded the software I can't remember what it was but eh, I hope my pencils didn't deliver okay um for uh doing making your own diamond paint I said because my friend the one I was told you about that got me um started that actually got gave me the incentive to start the diamond printing like I said I wasn't wanting to do it but I never did it um because like I said I like I was going to say well I started to say earlier um my friend I just uh she did one a couple of years ago and I wanted to do one then but I still just never started so now that one of my crafty friends has gotten into diamond painting on her channel um I said let me go ahead and start this diamond painting thing I've been wanting to do it for years so I'm doing it there we go so um oops close this so I uh forgot what I was gonna say. I do that. I hate when that happens. But yeah, so I um I got another diamond painting coming and the it was one I kept I mentioned before and I and I said it was dragon uh diamond paint. It's not. It's uh it's a, one of my zodiac sign. I'm a Capricorn so it's of the goat and it's like a gold looking color. And that's why when I looked at it, it was like a little picture on my phone from Am no I mean, not Amazon but wish. And I thought it was a dragon because it was all yellow and goldy and stuff so i'm like wait a minute no i looked at it again last night like ah it's my zodiac sign so yeah that's the next one i'm waiting on um but yeah back to what i would say now I remember um my friend uh my character friend um that started doing diamond painting she had a custom one done of, of nubia which is wonder woman's uh sister half sister whatever i don't know i i read about, about it but i can't remember but her name is nubia and she is pretty much a black wonder woman and she she loves wonder woman so she had a custom diamond painting done of nubia and like oh that is cool so then i said you know what i would like my make my own custom diamond because she said it was she told she when she did the for she did the um real video of it the uh, unboxing of it it was like for she put up the price it was like 45 dollars 44.99 like, ah, i don't want to pay that much for one i'm sorry um i like them paint oh what is this? Ah, crap this is my a stray one I gotta find out where this goes so anyway i said i don't want to pay that much for it i, I gotta get you know, make sure I'm, I know what I'm doing first. If I go paying that much for uh, my diamond, my custom diamond painting, or non custom for that matter. Um, so, uh, I happened to um, go on YouTube and look uh, and search for DIYs on how to make your own custom diamond painting and I found a video and it was like two five parts to it and I uh, shared the link with my friend um, like you you might want to check this out and and I already know I really also researched where I can get my uh, drills from um, I'll share the software down below a uh, link for it and um, uh, the link to the diamond drills that I found I'm going to be ordering. I just got to write down um, the DMC number, color, color numbers that I'm going to need for the one I want to do. But before I do that, it's a picture of Anubis that I want to do. Um, from, I'm going to put my book is out of here. Uh, and, yeah, here it is. And, um, Y'all probably seen it in my um 
and my uh, my uh, my finished pages that I did. Wait a minute, it's not in this book. It's in Color Mafia. Yeah. Um, my finished pages that I did of Anubis, Anubis. And so I want to do a custom um, diamond art of this page. So I literally, I, I'm I my permission, guys. I'm not, I'm not trying to get in trouble with copyright. I mean, those could be for my own personal use. Um, I did email uh, Kirby Rosanis asking him um, if it was okay that I could use this image that I colored for my own personal use to make a custom diamond painting. So I'm waiting on a response, a reply back from the email. I hope he okays it. But if not, I get it. I understand, not a problem. But it would have been cool to see that in a diamond painting uh, medium instead of, you know, other means that we've seen in these books of coloring or painted or whatever. Um, it would be cool in diamond painting. So yeah, I will put the link to that software below. Um, that I found out about where you can make your own custom diamond painting and also the video I just post the first video of it um, the tutorial so y'all can follow her if y'all want to try your own diamond painting um, custom diamond painting and I'll also put the link down where I plan to get my drills for my custom diamond painting because this is the cheapest place I've seen it so far and it's like you can I think they're like 50 cents for a thousand drills and then the more you want them, of course, the, the more they cost. But even if you get 6,000 drills, I think I looked at it, 6,000 drills is still like 3,025 cents or something like that. It was still pretty cheap. So I said, that's cool. You know, so um, I'm going to start. I'm going to, when I, um, 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 the, uh, pick some images of my own that I want to do custom, uh, uh paint diamond paint is on um i'm gonna start that and uh, like i said i'm hoping listen i'm waiting to hear a reply back from mr rosanna see if he will give me the okay to use his image the color of anubis as a custom diamond painting uh project and that's gonna be fun um but yeah so thanks guys for watching um i will be back with the other diamond painting that I have to do another kit set up uh, kit that one up and next video um, for, as far as the diamond painting will be I will actually be drilling can't wait um, so yeah guys thanks for watching and y'all have a colorful day bye